All right, let's do a little unboxing. This is how it arrives. Have a look inside. So here we are. 4K USB free HD TV video capture. So uh, this is where your input goes from your video card or whatever. This is like a, a pass through so you can have a TV connected to it. Um, but the data will come from the USB 3 port right here. Um, you can have a microphone in here so it can capture that. And you can also monitor things using a, using a headphone on the side there. So it's not self-powered. There's no, you know, 5 volt um, s sort of separate supply. Uh, it gets all the pa uh, power from your computer or laptop. So yeah, that's something to consider anyway. Um, I'm going to be plugging it into a powered USB hub so it's not sort of nicking from my uh, power supply. It comes with one USB free cable right there so you can connect it to your computer or laptop and there's a little instruction manual here as well. Uh, for the most part it's uh, pretty much plug and play. You can see there's no drivers. Uh, there's the rough setup. It's pretty much just what I explained before. That's how we shove it in and uh, yeah there's the rest of the manual. So um, here's some of the specs here. You can see there no need extra power supply. <laughs> Yeah, it supports uh, various consoles, uh, TVs, computers, and things like that. So, uh, yeah, let's get it installed and see what it's like. Is it any good? Who knows? Okay, so I have it set up. I have uh, HDMI going to the uh, capture card here. There it is. And then the other HDMI going to the TV right here. And then a USB cable going all the way over to... A little self-powered hub. I thought that might take some uh, stuff off there. And uh, yeah, there's the capture right there. Okay, so we're in OBS right now. You can pretty much just add a capture device here, then it uh, populates as USB 3 video. Uh, when we go to configure the video, we pretty much just get the options that you would expect from a standard webcam. Uh, but if we go down here, so down here we can see our resolution here. These are some of the resolution options it gives us. So we have uh, 1080p here. Uh, so pretty much HD, then it goes all the way down from there. I'm not sure what all this 4K is about. It's a, that's a bit of a mystery. Uh, frames per second. So you can see it natively supports uh, 60 FPS. If I choose uh, 30 frames per second, will that give me a higher resolution? No, it doesn't. So that is a bit weird. <laughs> so this is HD at 1080p, 60 frames per second. It, To be honest, it looks okay. <laughs> to be honest, it's nice and smooth. Um, I'm going to be using 720p because I'm, I'm not using a whole screen for this. It's going to be a picture in picture. So I imagine it's it's going to look a bit better. Um, but yeah, the whole 4K thing, pretty, pretty weird. It says 4K on the actual box, but uh, there's no 4K options in her. Yeah, 4K. <laughs> Ultra HD. So I'm just looking over an eBay listing. I'll look over an Amazon one in a second. If you look at the eBay listing, you can see here it says 4K video capture card. So you would imagine it would capture video at 4K, right? That's what you kind of want it for. And you go down here, resolution 4K at 60 hertz, nothing else. You go down here. Um, here we go, gaming with support for 4K 60 hertz output. So it's all to do with the wording. So uh, <laughs> you can... I mean, to be honest, for £18, around $22, $23, you're not going to expect 4K capture, let's be honest. Um, but it is a bit annoying that they have to kind of sneakily lie uh, about that. But let's look at the Amazon listing here. So this is exactly the same thing right here. You can see here, video capture card, 4K, HDMI. And then you start scrolling down here, and you see supports a maximum input resolution of 2160p and backwards compatible. So basically what it's saying is the signal you give it, so the HDMI signal, so that will be this one right here, 
So the signal you give it from your computer where it says uh, support windows, that can be 4K. But what you're actually getting out of it, the capture is HD uh, up to 60 FPS. So it's a horrible play on words. Uh, is it a scam? Kinda. But also, if you look at the price you, and you know anything about capture cards, you have to kind of realize something is a bit sus here. <laughs> but also in Amazon, it is a bit sneaky. It says video capture resolution uh, 4K, which is just not true. Um, it actually captures at HD, 1080p. It doesn't capture any more than that. But the HDMI signal and the one it gives you uh, as a loop, the output, sure, yeah, 4K, but that's not what you're buying a capture card for. You're buying a capture card to capture at 4K. You don't even care if it gives you a loop out at 4K. You, you probably do, but that, that's not really the whole purpose why you're buying it. So that, that's the got you with this and why I was super confused, but now it kind of makes sense. But I don't think it would make sense to an everyday person, you know, trying to get some 4K capture. Um, it's a bit of a scam in, in that regard. So what do we think about this USB 3 capture card then? Well, to be honest, for the price point, it's just not really that bad at all. <laughs> if if your stream isn't FPS intensive, maybe you just want a small 720p picture-in-picture or something like that, or even a 1080p picture-in-picture, I don't think it's really too bad, especially if you're on a budget. If you want something better or your game, you know, needs to capture it, um, anything more than HD and it's you want minimal tearing or ghosting or anything like that, then I don't recommend this. I recommend an Elgato HD60X. I'll link them both in the description below so you can check them out. But for a capture card on a budget, you know, it's not really too bad. It's just a bit annoying about the sneaky advertising, to be honest. Uh, anyway, I hope you liked the video. Take care and goodbye.